sideways. And then if and then if it oh, says the exit box? full screen, yeah, there should yeah. The little box in the See, bottom right corner. Like now mine's now mine's not. And then if I go and I can click, click it. It looked like he flipped them sideways. It just didn't do his phone. Weird. Everything I'm just doing is recording. Oh, I said something about recording. Yeah, I don't know. What are you guys smoking on, man? I'm about to roll a joint. Yeah, I'm going to roll up a doobie, too. <laughs> yeah. nothing, nothing special, bro. Just a cart. Maybe I should roll up a doobie. I guess. <laughs> it's the way. It's the way everybody else is doing it. They're like, well, if everyone else says, I guess so. If that's what's popping these days. Yes, yeah, it's the, all the cool kids the are doing kids it, too. Are doing it. Yep. Yeah, I was just, yeah, that's what I was literally just saying, dude. <laughs> Grab it. Grab the tree and stuff. Yeah, I haven't uh, smoked since I've been home yet. So came up, took a little nap, and then woke up, started, made a little coffee, and then started dealing with this. So I need to smoke. Yeah. Me neither. I got home and I just kind of chilled. I got right. home. I took a little nap for like thirty minutes. <laughs> I don't like yeah. to take. I don't like to take naps, bro, because I be. I be laying down to take a nap after work, and I wake up at fucking eight o'clock, and I gotta get up at four thirty. You, you gotta. Really oh yeah, it. that's not the move, bro. I just stay up until like eight, and then I go to bed if I'm super tired. It used to be I couldn't nap. If I took a nap, I couldn't sleep at night, and I'd just be up all night. But and this is like a, I could take like a thirty minute nap, but that's it. Ever since I hit like thirty, though. <laughs> now you're like I could nap and go to bed early. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I could. After every meal, I want to take a nap. <laughs> yeah. If you smoke enough weed, you should be able to get back to sleep. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yo, Thursday, Thursday, I got to take my tower test, Frankie. Or I actually got to climb up it and do the shit. Are you out of your cast? Yep. That wasn't long. Two and a half weeks, right? Damn. He's going to go uh, climb cell phone towers. Oh, really? I'm bringing you a 5G. <laughs> oh nice oh yeah i know somebody who does that he makes pretty good money doing that it looks oh, it looks kind of cool i'm a little scared of heights but um yeah, i'm not really scared kind of, of heights cool. either what did they tell you he said he said his instructor goes you can't at the job interview uh it's not about oh, being afraid I, of heights it's more like it's you can't be afraid me. of dying it's about, <laughs> yeah that's exactly yeah so i would it's like the very first day i met anybody in the place dude i walked in there like to, and they're like, so what? What? Why do you want to do this? And I was like, well, I mean, I used to climb cliffs. I used to do this and that. And he's like, it's not about the heights. He's like, well, he goes, we'll have the safety guy explain it to you. And I look over, and this is like the safety dude. So he's like all fucking, like supposed to be like, about safety and shit. And he's like, it's not about being scared of heights. It's about being scared of dying. When we put <laughs> seventy five pounds of gear on you and have you climb a three hundred foot tower and you're halfway up and your legs feel like giving out, what are you gonna think? And I was like, Oh my god, dude, that was fucking intense. <laughs> that sounds scary. It's an intense fucking interview, dude. They're like, You gotta at least have a grip strength of ninety pounds. I'm like, Okay. Huh. They tested or something? Yeah, they did. They tested me. I got like ninety five. Yeah. Uh, they don't drug test now? Yeah, I actually did have to do a drug test, and they don't test for weed. They're like, we are oh, nice. asking, they're like, we're looking for tower climbers. And we're in, and he's like, do you know what state we're in? It's Arizona, bro. He's like, no one doesn't smoke pot here anymore. <laughs> that <laughs> like, sounds true. The safety yeah. dude even smoked and shit. My I manager. Like oh, sorry. No, you're cool. My manager smokes. Go ahead, Frank. Oh, we're like the... Yeah, I heard a lot of places are doing away with drug tests, at least for like weed, because it's like they just can't find the employees. So a lot of places that weren't hiring stoners now are like, fuck it. Yeah, you, nobody really so like, thinks about Arizona being the spot, but like we have a very high percentage of smokers, and we have since the Reggie days. Yeah. Yep. You know, we yep. always had that. It's because we're right by Mexico, yo. Overlooked. We so had that good uh those, those Christmas buds. Remember those? Remember that? Christmas, that Christmas almost Reggie? time of year. Yeah, yeah. Christmas Reggie. The buds would that get all, the all, all nice, all frosty yeah. and nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm like wow, it looks like KB. Yeah, I'm only twenty, dude. <laughs> KB, baby, KB. <laughs> I'm only twenty, so it's like 
people hate on me when like all my generation hates on Reggie and shit. But I came from I came up from that shit. So I was like someone else yeah. like young that that used to be there that started on that like everybody else did. My shit's great. Even even now, dude, if I fucking am really down bad, I would still smoke it. Look around. Yeah, how do I wouldn't even know where to get it these days. Honestly, like it's, my I don't even know. A, like, my friend has a guy, dude. He has fucking totes and totes and totes and totes of it. Uh, like, yeah. say eighty eighty dollars an ounce at Health for Life. I think it's pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> That's nah, pretty much. Dude, crazy. dude, this is way better than Reg, dude. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm on right now. It's way better than Reg. The Health for Life. Yeah, yeah you know, you think that's Reg, dude? Ah, uh, nah, nah. I'm just comparatively, it's, like, it's kind of where it's at. You know, it's like mid, dude. I got some shit for forty dollars for a half ounce at uh, Health for Life the other day. That's pretty close. Nah, it's actually that's mid. It's pretty, but it's mid. It's actually a good, decent tree though. For forty dollars a half ounce, it's like yeah, it's worth it. It's, that's what I'd be blunt, saying, dude. Blunt weed. I think it's I weird mean, now. People all excited about seeds, and it's like, man, we just, those are annoying. You just flick them and stuff, and now it's like people are like, hey, you know how to get seeds? They're like a rarity. I used to save mine all the time, dude. I used to plant them and nothing would fucking happen, dude. I yeah. I was, even, like, or they would grow and it'd be just not even, it should be a regular hemp plant. And I'd be like, fuck you. Yeah, I used to like, just stick them in the dirt places and shit. And hopefully that they just grow into weed. My dad did. And then it actually grew a fucking little female plant. And it was like a, it was like a mini, it was like a mini one. So it didn't get big or nothing. And it stayed in like a pot. It only got like this big and it was so tight. Yeah. It was like, yeah, and he actually kept it alive for like three seasons. It was all outdoor and like no nutrients, no nothing, no news, all natural. And he just he kept it alive for like three seasons and got like three separate harvests out of it. That's awesome. Yeah, I was, that's pretty dope, dude. Hmm. Uh, right. So you guys both coming out to the AZST uh, two year anniversary yeah. birthday bash? Yes, sir. I'm gonna Saturday, be there. So, yeah, what? Time? Hell yeah. Why? Why don't you tell us about AZST? What, what What's that all about? Uh, yeah, I'll give you, uh, I guess, briefly. Like, what do you mean? Like, how this the whole thing got kind of started, kind of deal, or not? Yeah, it's yeah. been so. It's been two years, obviously, because you got the birthday bash coming up on Saturday. Um, yep, yep. But uh, it's, I mean, it's a Facebook group. We know that much, and I, I'm pretty sure before it got taken down this last time, it was like how five, six k. Like yeah, that. I think well, I think when I originally started it, I mean, I kind of knew it was gonna kind of be big. I said, like, "Oh, it's gonna it's gonna do well," and then uh, you know, I checked the next day, and we were getting like so many member requests at a time. It was like seventy five at a time, like after like Jeez. you know, just even a couple weeks, it was just blowing up. But then Facebook tries to hide you and stuff, you know. Sure. So we had gotten up to almost like eight. I think it was like eight nine thousand people, and then uh. Facebook shut that down, and uh, you know we were just kind of learning the group. I I let a lot of things in that I realized I just can't. So the second go around, we did a lot better, and uh, we were getting up to like we got up to like five point seven thousand. But I turned down a lot of people. I feel bad because if you don't live in Arizona, I hit decline. Sure. If it looks kind of shady, I might decline. If it's like a new profile, you know, I just try to keep it. Yeah, that's not all about numbers. You know, I'd rather have a smaller group of what you want in there and cool people and just Facts. you know not just like pushing for like a large number so and then facebook would hide the group too like if i'd meet someone and be like hey check out azst they couldn't even like find it on their phone like it was like so that was no kind way. of annoying too so it's all invite so it's kind of a slow I growth that issue dude i could not yeah find it. frankie was telling me about it and i was not i was not able to find it I was exactly. For it and I was Dude, just... I mean, people, I tell them about it and they're going to look at their phone. If they don't find it in like 10 seconds, you're just going to give up, you know, oh, I, the same right. way. I'm like, well, I don't know where it is. You know? Facts. Facts. So I'm hoping now with this new group, we haven't gotten any trouble yet. So it shouldn't be hidden, I don't think. I think I checked it the other day and someone typed it in and found it. So I'm like, well, that's cool. So I'm hoping to grow back. Um, we're getting, you know, it's growing every day, obviously, but hopefully we'll get. Back to some numbers. I like being about like five thousand ish. You know, it's kind of nice, nice number. But sure. who knows? I would like it to just keep growing, and see how big we could get it because it's just going to keep growing. But now we're just set back, so it's like it just keeps growing. You know. Sure. But and, and we got so a good thing going, and I think people just like it because I I make sure everybody feels welcome. Um, I try to keep a positive vibe. You know. And, uh, 
Definitely. Just try to, yeah, I just want everyone to feel welcome in AZST. Don't, you know, don't if you can disagree, but just be cool. You know, we're all stoned and shit. And yeah. I just want it to be a, a place for stoners and kind of hang out and meet people. And our motto is because it's nice to smoke with friends. And when I first started it, we started doing meetups. And it was right when uh, coronavirus was going on. So we were getting a lot of people to the meetups. And then, you know, and me, I just, I want to make it more fun. Like, so I, we'd, we'd have raffles at the meetups and things like that. Okay. We'd have music. And then we got in trouble for playing music. So eventually they just kind of got bigger. I'm like, well, let's just make it like an event and get bands, you know, the whole awesome. you know, food truck, you know, like, let's just go hard. You know, instead of just a meetup, they're fun. But I'm like, we could do even better. I'd like to still do some meetups uh, probably when the weather's nicer because it is fun. Just like, hey, just come out there, hang out, you know, meet at a park or something. Nothing official. It's free. You know, straight up. And is that what you were doing primarily was the so you said was the meetups during uh, like right when COVID was letting up? Yeah, it was like our first one we did was on top of a mountain. I was like, let's just see how it works. I didn't know if anyone would show up or, you know, I was like, I don't know. We'll see. So I, I, I it was a picture of a mountain. I made a flyer and I said that I called it the a mountain takeover. So I was mm-hmm. like, you know, and I was like, I don't know. Like everyone's like, oh, you're going to get arrested for smoking weed. I'm like. I go, people smoke weed in Tempe everywhere. Like, I live here. I'm like, they don't care. But people were like, didn't really even know what would kind of happen. Like, I just kept hearing all this stuff. So I was like, oh, whatever. Let's just put it out there. So I remember we had, we had, uh, we'd gone there and we kind of sat by the bottom. And I didn't think anyone was going to show for a little bit. I didn't see anybody. We waited a few minutes. I'm like, well, let's just climb to the top. Oh, one guy showed up. And then, so we're like, all right, well, at least we got one. Hell yeah. And then when we get to the top, uh, we realized that a lot of people were already up there. They thought we met on the top. So there was like oh, 10 shit. people like at this one spot. They're like, is this tea? And then like, there's even more that went up even higher. We're coming down. So we had like, must have been maybe like 20 people or something. 25 people showed up. Um, yeah. And everyone was had, just had a good time. We didn't, for, we forgot water bottles. So the, minus the fact that we were all thirsty and cotton mouth. But uh, other than that, it was a great time. It was cool just meeting people. And I was like, well, let's do that again. We did like Papago Park and. We did um, we did one up in Payson. We did one in Tucson. Yeah, but Tucson one only like five people showed up from Tucson. But it was pretty early on. But we had fun, man. Yeah. You know, the five people that did show up, we smoked weed. We had uh-huh. ate pizza and shit. It was fun. <laughs> we had a good time. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Yeah. Cool. So, um, like, what were you doing uh, before before you were doing meetups? Before you, even the AS or AZST? Before AZST and all that? Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I'm huge into going to concerts and doing all that kind of stuff. So I've always just gone to like live shows, you know, I mean, I work, I've, I've run different pages and stuff. I've always, I've, been, I've used to do stand up comedy. Um, okay. I don't really do that anymore. So yeah, I, I've always liked making memes. So this AZST thing is just kind of right up my alley because I love making memes. I love weed and I love music. So yeah. I'm just That's doing what I like doing. Yeah. And I uh, think yeah. other people like too, you know, like I'm like, Weed and music go together good. If you're gonna sit around smoking weed, you yeah. gotta have music, you know. Facts. So yeah. that's why the events I try to find music that, you know, even if you don't listen to that kind of music, it's gonna be entertaining to see when you're high. You know? Shit, music, music can even pull you back into weed. Uh, I think my manager was telling Frankie about that actually when we were talking to him one day on Discord. Is that he was like. I started listening to reggae, and that literally just made me want to pull back, like, bring back oh. my old teenager stoner ways. He's like, you ever just... been out of weed and, like, listen to, like, some reggae? It's, I hate doing that shit, dude. Like, I won't do it. I'll skip, I'll skip that song. If I skip this I got forgot my weed at work, and I got to listen to, like, reggae comes on. I'm like, skip, dude. It just, it makes me want to smoke too much. They're like, singing about it, and I'm like, oh, dude. It's, it's, yeah, like, dude. I just want to, I just want to rip right now. Give me one fucking rip. <laughs> Yeah, I've I've been an everyday smoker, man, for quite a damn long time, you know. Uh, I don't even, it's for a long time, dude. I don't even know. Long time. Yeah, it's hard to... 20-year smoker or some shit. Exactly. Yeah, dude, I don't, I, don't, I, I should try to figure out exactly, I guess, but... I mean, I, I started when I was 15, but it, I, mean, I think I'm more of a pothead now, slowly over the years, than I was with vape pens and they, uh, dispensaries are so easy now, like... Back in the day when I started, you had to, I, we had to go find homeless people and try to you buy had to a dime bag. On, you had to go yeah. sit on some and hope you didn't get couch. ripped off. Yeah. <laughs> so I wasn't smoking like I am now. Like, you know, but. Facts. But yeah, the access is really. 
opened it up for everybody. What dude, so it's what? so crazy. I could just walk to the store. I, I mean, we're kind of used to it, but I still trip out, dude. That we could just walk in a store and just buy some fucking weed, you know? I mean, we used to have to smoke them on dumpsters and worry about going to jail and shit for it. So it's, it's, right. it's cool. That's right. I started late. Like I said, I'm only 20. Started like junior year when I was like 17. And now I've been smoking every day since, really. Well, I mean, that's I got my med card. Time. So that you, but you grew up with like people with med cards and stuff. So that's just kind of like normal yeah, to you. Yeah, like my dad like, had one almost. In a way, you're lucky. Yeah, like I got born like in that generation where it got started to come fucking not so taboo. I sound like such an old man. I'm always feeling like you kids got it so good. You know, and then it's, you kids got it so easy. We had a walk <laughs> you know, with a homeless guy for two miles and hope he didn't get burned. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, people used to go to Facts. jail for weed. <laughs> people used to go yeah. to jail. Uh, so and it was shittier weed, too. We're going yeah. to jail for, like, shitty weed. For yeah. crap, yeah. yeah. It wasn't, like, this danky stuff you can get now. It's like, it was, like, a bag of shit. It's like, they put you in prison for it. It's bad. Some of the bud we'd get, too, it's like, you don't get to choose. This is fucking you know, Indica, Sims, Sativa. Dude. Yeah, they're like, no, you want weed, here's the weed. It's like, you don't have an option. They don't even have two options. You just get the one. You just get weed. If, and options, if it's shitty, you're still going to smoke it. You're still going to smoke that brown. Actually. You're like, it smells weird. And then you like rolling a joint with it. Like, Whoa, whatever. <laughs> it was like a treat. If they you're like, options. I guess we'll yeah. see. I guess we'll see. Is this even weed? And then they still <laughs> smoke it. Like, I guess like, we'll find out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I guess I'm not even getting either. high off this shit. That doesn't happen Mm-mm. anymore. That doesn't happen. <laughs> so what is we the this... second anniversary of for the event? Uh, It's just the when I started. Uh. Yeah, the first I started AZST was in October. I believe it was the actual day. I don't even remember, to be honest with you. But I know we did the first birthday, October 9th. Last year, so it's like right around okay. right around this time. I forget the actual day. The middle of, uh, of October. Yeah, when it just became like a thing, I guess you'd say. You know? It's when it was established. Yeah. It was, dude, the whole thing was just, it is kind of weird because it was just in my head. And then to watch it and people just enjoying it. It's awesome. It's a cool feeling. Yeah, it so, makes you feel good. You know? Yeah, yeah, dude. Sure. I, I created the logo, and I love people putting stickers on their car. Like that's why I, that makes me feel good, dude. I, I give stuff away. I'm like not good at selling because people come over. I'm like just give it to them. But <laughs> uh, stickers are good because you know you get a bunch of them. So we have a lot of AZST stickers, but we had hats, we had shirts. Yeah. Um, any high maintenance smoke shop actually, I think they still have our stickers. Um. But one in Tempe, I didn't see them, but they just moved, so I don't know where they're at. But if you ask for one, I think they have them there. The, so, the stickers um, for sale? Yeah, and then I sell them. I, I had them on Facebook Marketplace for a little bit. Now people just message me that want them, and then I have them send me whatever. I don't know. It depends what they want and shit. You know, if they want a few, I'm, I'm like pretty much like a donation. Right, um, sure. And then I'll you, mail them some stickers, you know, yeah, I see you just to cover away. mail and Oh, I'll go out and give away, yeah. yeah if you like, see me out in I'm public, in, I'll just hand you one. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm at like, Tempe Town go. Lake today. Come holler Yeah, if you come out there, you're getting a, you'll get a few stickers. If nobody shows if nobody shows up or a couple people, you'll get a bunch. Facts. Yeah. That's cool. They're fun. They're good. I always every time I go somewhere, I'll bring I'll bring stickers in my back pocket in case someone asks. You know? Or and then I'll just stick, fun. Yeah. I'll stick them in bathrooms. I love sticking them places too, you know. So well, places where it's not like, you know. But there's usually already stickers, or it's like hilarious. Or something. Yeah. So where, where, uh, or what is, what should we expect at the event on Saturday? Like, what, what kind of stuff do you have going on? The attraction. Um, you, you guys, you guys never here, been to an be some, event or anything? Here, there's no, gonna be some good food. Well, number one, the venue is badass. The first time I ever went there, I walked in, I was like, dude, just the venue alone, dude. It's like all art. Like, it's just where's, a cool spot. It's called Unity at? Community. It's by the it's, Yucca Tap Room, right? Uh huh. It's a private, um, privately owned by Unity Through Community, and this guy Matt he owns it. Nice fucking cool dude, dude. He's like an artist and shit, cool guy. Um, so it's his. It's like it's not always open and shit. You know, he's he has a this little card too. Check this out. You become a member, and you can go see live shows. And then they don't sell booze, so you bring your own. So it's like a bar, but it's cheap. Mm. Like, see, I got this membership card. I'm number 420. But he gives out these membership cards. Yeah. Yeah. So you can go to private shows. Once they sell out, you can't get one. 
I mean, you could bring a guest too, but you're responsible for that guest. Like if I brought you and you went crazy or some shit, stole, you know, I'd be, I could take my card away basically. Cause cool. so it's kind of cool. He's got a, you know, he's still kind of learning with stuff like that. Like he, um, you know, but he's always changing and he's like an artist guy and it's, it's badass. That's so awesome. the venue, yeah, the venue alone is just awesome. They have a lot of good local bands who played there. It's like small, you know, but there's a stage, they got like a bar and it goes back. Um, there's some bathrooms in the back. But it's all just art. You can, every you can, every part is covered, you know. So it's just something to look at and chill. It's dark in there, you know. Um, it kind of a little bit. It's a little hard when we do something there in like July because it's so hot outside. But right now it's gonna be perfect. So perfect, yeah. we don't have to worry about that heat. That's gonna be. And it's in the yeah. Evening. We'll have okay. So vendors will be outside. Yeah, inside is really not much room for vendors and that stuff. You know, depends how many people are there at one time, but. That's where the music um, is. The vendors, we put them outside. Music and stuff, and the smoking goes on inside. Oh, so okay. we'll have the food truck outside, you know, and if you like hitting your vape pen or whatever, no big deal. But the smoking, you got to do inside. I mean, okay. were people smoking outside? Yeah, we really, you know, sure, not supposed to because it's the street. It's the street rules. <laughs> so I think we have to have it like fenced off or something. But I don't want no one to get in trouble. So, um, you know, the smoking goes on inside. But okay. it's right there. You just step inside and go smoke real quick. It's, you know, it's kind of the opposite of stepping outside. It's weird. Yeah. Uh, step inside like that bad boy. Up. <laughs> Plus, we're trying to smoke it up. You know, so come help us yeah. out. Don't be wasting it outside. Dude, let's smoke this bitch up. Facts. Get it as smoky as yeah. possible. So who's playing? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. What's the music? Okay, so let's see, we got. Uh, I'm trying to remember by the flyer. I don't want to forget anybody, but um, okay. So Clint OG. I don't know if you guys heard of him. He uh he was just hanging out with me on Sunday. He came over. I told him to make a like a funny video, just chill. We didn't mean to do it, but he came over yesterday. I just recently got into him, dude. I mean, I've I've seen his name and stuff. You know, he's nothing like a huge name or anything. But I went and saw him, dude. And I was like, dude, these guys are good. You know, uh, he just likes playing, dude. I got people that love playing that that ask me that have like ambition. You know what I mean? But it's, yeah. Oh, yeah. I kind of, these are good artists, dude. Like I like music and stuff, so like. Even if you never heard of them, they're all love what they do. They've all really hungry to be there. They're very thankful to be there. You know what I'm saying? It's it's dope. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, we got OG Clinto. He's like a reggae type reggae band, basically. Um, it's different though. A little something different, dude. He's cool. Like they're you're gonna like it. Awesome. Stoner Jordan. I don't know if you guys ever heard or seen Stoner Jordan. I, I um, heard of him. He raps. Um, yeah, he's 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 pretty good promoting. You've probably seen one of his flyers or something. He is uh he's very entertaining, dude. And he's bringing he has a deal with like the people that make those fake plants, those bud plants that look real as fuck. They're like deco or whatever it's called. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he has like a deal with them. He's got like all these plants, dude. They look dope. So he's gonna come set the stage up. It's gonna have like they look real like real plants. Um dope. he's bringing some cool fucking yeah, he tours and stuff, dude. He was touring with uh, the guy from Cottonmouth Kings and He's been doing rapping for a while. He's got a following. Dope. He's got fans. Yeah. Okay. And then you got, okay, so I also got DJ Metronome. He's just to fill in any time slots, kind of help with the whatever, you know. Uh, but he 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 does, he DJs outside dispensaries. He's DJed at Marquee Theater. Like, yeah. you know, he's not, he's good. So he knows what he's doing. He's a pro. Yeah, exactly. He's not like some guy like trying to figure it out. So music's going to be on point. Cool. And then, uh, Baljit Soul. I met her. I saw them play at the uh, an event before that one. And I asked I asked if she should be an AZST event. And they're very good. They're, they're unique. I don't know what kind of music it really is. Okay. And then Zephyr I'll Phillips, Trinity Roots. Yeah. Oh, dude, you like it, man. It's, it's a big list. This guy, All White yeah. Bricks. I just like the way he asked and the way he, he said he was sponsored by a uh, dispensary. And he was the way he just, I could tell he was like wanting to be there. You know, I was just like, yep, yeah, I got room for you. I, I didn't even listen to his song. Yeah, exactly. I was like, yeah, kind of put it out there real quick. Let's kind of see who, you know, because if you really did, you the, the hungry ones kind of come to you. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah. 100%. So, what, mm -hmm. so you've got Failed four or five and I ran acts. out of papers. Oh, that's, that's nice. Dope. dope. That's that special K. <laughs> Sorry, man. What were you saying before? All right, so you've got four or five acts going. I think something like, like that, maybe more. You, I, okay. Yeah, uh, I have to look long, at the flyer. So, how long is the event? Everyone doing like a 20, 30 minute set. Uh, six to ten. <laughs> so, six to ten. 
Okay, you can yeah, come. That's that's nice. Oh, we got that Pizza Arno food, Arno food truck. I don't know if you ever had Pizza Arno. <laughs> I'm not joking. No. Like, ask around. Nobody ever complains. That shit is bomb. Like, it's, it's addictively good. <laughs> so, I, people usually buy two. They'll get stoned, they eat one, and I see them order another one. Because it's like a good size. Like, it's like a not like huge, but it's it's not small, but it's a good size. So, it's, nice. it's not going to make but it's enough to eat two if you get stoned enough. You wait a little bit. You know? right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it's like a it's like a thin crust it's kind of thin so it's not like it's just bomb it's like a oh yeah big oh dude it's it's bomb dude. Like, mark my words if you don't like the pizza then come tell me i'll, I'll fucking have, you know. <laughs> give you a doobie <laughs> yeah. he's like you won't, i've never heard a bad thing <laughs> yeah i wouldn't have got her like three this is like the third time just because i start craving that pizza dude she got me hooked but you know like i'm just gonna get that pizza on our truck again <laughs> yeah you know and then we had the uh, one chick. She has that zombie truck. She's good too, but she was booked last time, and she made some amazing food. Like we always have, like some bomb food. Because food's okay. important, oh, stoner. Yeah. Food you know, you gotta have something good. We've, and we've had. We always try to have at least some good food there at every event. Something stoners go out eat. Facts. And then we raffle stuff off and shit. We do a little, you know. So I'd like to try to raise some money to get some hats made if that's possible. You know, it takes a little bit to. Oh yeah. Dope. So that kind of helps that. I hope AZST kind of get the ball moving on some things. Uh, if by coming to the event and by raffling, you guys doing the toy drive is awesome too. So tell me about that. What's up with, with the toy drive? We have so, a, someone in the crew who has a personal connection to one of these local women's shelters. Uh, they went through the yeah. process. I believe it's, it, what is it, Sojourners? So, Sojourners? Yeah, it's the Sojourners. Uh, center and um so we're just we're doing a toy drive for them we're doing at, at our event in december we're doing one at the door as well and we're actually making a requisite we're gonna have a little dab bar or whatever and in order to get it to get the dab bar you got to bring a toy so um that's for them because that's like you know it's a woman's shelter and you don't think about like the kids that go with them you know yeah and, uh, it's holiday season, christmas so. time yeah, that's true. When I, when I saw that, it made me think of that. I was like, kind of true, man, because you think women, so they probably do need toys to kids and women. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, I mean, and we would we'll accept whatever, you know, like. Yeah, I was like, we were going to take feminine products, right? And yeah, stuff and, too, like yeah, canned food. food. Are we still doing food, Frankie? Well, it, I mean, we'll take it because we, we can find a place for it, but it's. For sure. It's not a food drive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, yeah. We want the toys. But, yeah, uh, toys for sure. Yeah, so I mean that it's pretty dope, and it's it's uh, nice that someone, because someone in our community brought it to us and was like, "Hey, you should do something for Sojourners." And so yeah. it's, it's cool that we uh, are getting support for doing that. You know, helping out. See, that was somebody who took initiative, though, reached out, and then look what happened. Facts. Awesome. Absolutely. You, know, you would have known about it, you know. So it's like, it's, and it's, you guys probably liked it. <laughs> That's uh, kind of how I do things, but I'd rather, you know, and I could reach out and try to get these like corporate sponsors to, to things. Then yeah. It kind of becomes less fun, dude. You know, I don't know. I'm doing it because I like doing it. I'm going to have a good time. And I know everybody there, they have a good time. Facts. So that's all I, I, I make sure that, of that. Thing. Yeah. I don't think I've, matter. I don't think I've ever heard anything bad about AZST, but you know, like I, even online, like, you know, then I never read people always just have a good time. So. Yeah. So it's uh so we're encouraged to bring our own smoke and like a bomb. Yep, or please. Like that. Yeah, please. Yeah, feel free. All feel right, free. Yeah. Cool. Bring as much as you want. Personal stuff. Yeah, of course. You know. Bring, awesome. Bring, we've had uh yeah, bring, bring all of it. Cool. So gonna, Saturday, gonna be nice. Unity through community. It's Mill and Southern, from six to yep. ten. Yep. Same plaza as Yucca. Some people get lost. It's that badass Danielle Plaza. And they're talking about remodeling that whole area. It's a very really? uh, iconic Tempe, one of the last old plazas, dude. Like they're trying to just knock mm -hmm. everything down. Uh, the and smoke shop is right there, ain't it? There's a smoke yeah, shop mm -hmm. right there. Sky, yeah. Medical sky doctor high. too, a weed doctor right next door. Yeah, on that, yeah. On that. They wanted to do something at the event. I should. I was gonna stop in there actually, and uh, I forget her name. She's in the group. I could put a post out, I suppose. But she was asking about be a part of an event because they're like right yeah. there. Mm. All those people, <laughs> and she reached out, so I'm like, of course. Yeah, dope. Does a smoke shop fuck with you? Like, if you, 
like if you went to the smoke shop and was like, hey, promote our event and we'll, you know, send. Well, that's the thing, too, is, dude, it's a small venue and I kind of want it to be more. It's like a private event. So it's like more word of mouth. Like it's not like I just want like a sign out in the street that says, come on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because there's people that be walking by, have no clue what it is. And they're like, and I'll just be like, it's a private event because they don't even know what's going on. You know what I mean? So it's why, not like it's kind of hard to explain. Well, why do you want it's it like up? a private event? Are you afraid of the heat? Well, number one, you know who's there. You know what I mean? You know, kind like if you guys come, group. yeah, it is like you. If you showed up and you were there to go to the AZT event, you're you're welcome because you know about it. You were just sure. walking down the street. Are, who are you? You know what I mean? At least you heard about it. Yeah, yeah. Technically, yeah, you could. I don't know. You could still be a cop or something or whatever. You know. But yeah, you're not doing anything it's just, just, I think you just get a better group of people too that all have same interests and you know, you know just I've had some drunk college kids walk up like what's this? It's like no, <laughs> not private event, you know. Uh, like we don't need yeah. three drunk college guys in here just ruining it for, that. you know. Yeah, that's so right. it's not just public. You know, <clears throat> so it's it's a private event, but you know everybody's welcome. You know, it's fucking be, but those, yeah. Dope. Yeah. It always works out for the for the best. Especially Tempe, dude. There's some people there that trust me, you just don't you know, in here. But, but it's like those blue smokers, dude. Oh, I, was about to say I live out here though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you no, can I smell live it in the park. You gotta stay away from homeless those there for a year I live in my car. Up here for like six Tempe? for like six months. Yeah, I'm priest in uh Broadway. Oh, nice. Yeah. So a little bit, not, a little bit wasn't, wasn't very nice at all. Well, was, nice, I, absolutely shit, dude. I, that was nice horrible. area, nice, nice area. area. Sounds terrible. Sorry about that. I put my, I put my fucking, my boots outside the outside the door, dude. My work boots. Hey, I, I've things. been homeless, bro. I could talk shit because I've been homeless. Hey, know, so. bro, these yeah. things reeked for like miles. You could smell them, bro. Like these work boots were fucking. They put like two years of work into them boots. So they were just horrendous. Never washed them once, you know. They were like, they could probably put down like a fucking, like a bull, dude, if the bulls took a whiff. I put these motherfuckers out my car and someone stole them, bro. I was like, they really stole my fucking <laughs> shoes, bro? I was like, these motherfuckers are like falling apart and smell so bad, dude. Like, what are you going to do with these motherfuckers, dog? Like, what are you motherfucking tweakers stole my shoes, dude? And they're like, I'm going to sell this shit. I'm gonna go sell this shit for a couple blues. I hope that they fucking got into like under a street light. I hope they got under the next street light and just were like, fuck. <laughs> like, I should carry know, a blue CD. So, so next time one of them asks me if I can get any blues, I'll be like, here you go. I chuck them a CD. Give them like yeah, a picture. Like, <laughs> has a Blues yeah. Brothers on it. There you go. I'm like, here you go. That'd be, That'd be great, dude. Yeah. You got any blues? I got some blues. Here you go. Go listen to it. Give me a CD player. Listerine street. they be so bold about it too bro like they just walk up to your window i kind of get offended when they ask me i'm like do i look like i'm smoking like, blues that's, that's fucked up that's, yeah that's yeah, yeah it's kind of fucked up I do. Like, <laughs> do i look like i'm up i hope i don't look like that way but maybe so i i think they just ask everybody they're so desperate that's what i'm Thanks. saying dude i Thanks. think they see the first because i have tattoos the... so they're like he's not a cop probably or something it's a numbers game numbers game yeah i've you been know, asked one of these multiple times i'm like no I get offended, yeah, dude, no. kind of like, if you ask me for weed, that's cool. Don't ask me for blues. I I'm always like, like I'll be like, get the, the fuck out of here. Usually yeah. I go get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. They don't care. Or or I go, or I go, that shit's bad for you, homie. Stop <laughs> using it. I'll be like, that shit's, t-. I'll be like, you're destroying yeah. your body. And I'll say that. I go, that like, shit's retarded. You, you're destroying your body. And they go, mm, and walk away mumbling and shit. It's my body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My, my body my choice yeah that's real so uh yeah uh so i think that's dope i like the idea of the event it, what do you got in terms of like uh what's the future look like for azst what's your goals for the for the group and stuff because it's more than a group right it's like real what's people. the road map i mean yeah there's you know there's a lot we could do it includes all of arizona so honestly the events are fun, and, you know, but it's a lot of work, dude, and, like, a lot of planning and stuff. So I probably won't do anything too big for a little bit so I could do some other stuff if I'm kind of wanting to do, you know, because it does take up your time, you know, people messaging you. You got to think about, you know, 
So I'll definitely, I always do one on 420 and 710. And then, you know, I'm just going to wait for it. Unless the time comes up and it's right, you know, but sure. it may not be an event for a few months. I might do a little smaller meetups or something, but. Sure. You know, yeah, I, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Sometimes you just kind of just take off. It's tough. It's a lot of work, dude. I see how, how much Frankie gets, how much Frankie has to do. And I'm like, damn, bro. Oh, how you stuff. keep up with it all. Yeah, dude. I mean, so events are stuff, a lot. And events, events aren't like super lucrative unless you're like the guy, like the Earl Cup. They make and, money, right? So, oh, no, those guys, dude, they're making stank. It's like five hundred dollars yeah. for a vending booth, dude. I'm like, are you serious? Yeah. So it's uh, it's real, and uh, yeah, but then it's free to go, right? So, uh, and I don't know if they make the money off the parking because if they do, it's like. That, that's there's good. I'm pretty sure that, that they spot. do. I'm, 20 pretty, bucks yeah. a car and that's I'm sure that they thought of that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, but no, I mean, that, I even down the street. I was listening to the High in Arizona podcast, and they had uh, the Trap Culture dude on there, and he was that saying shit is that funny. they didn't they didn't even break even. Uh, the first really? event they broke even on was last summer, so they were a whole year and a half of events, two years of events before they even started to make money money um and they were like and that so i think the first event <coughs> they made money was the first time they rented sunsplash um so like and they were already getting a thousand two thousand people to their thing so it's wasn't like, that that was like trap culture i believe wasn't it yeah trap culture um, oh, yeah. yeah yeah and they uh so i mean <coughs> You is there like <coughs> is there like potential for a, a business or something to come out of AZST or is just keeping it the group, <coughs> keeping it the private, you know, uh, you know, cultivating a community kind of deal? Yeah, man, I think just kind of whatever feels natural and right. Obviously, you know, I th I was thinking about even doing trying like a a private group where people could kind of post whatever they want because that way you don't get in trouble for uh, proving it. Um, so they, like, if you posted something inappropriate, it would just be deleted and you would get in trouble, but not like the, p the page, but it'd have to be like, you have, you can't, you can't have any kind of admin. Cause I was like, people would just be posting all kinds of shit that would just get banned. But I'm like, I guess if you don't get in trouble for it, but yeah. you gotta be careful cause Facebook could shut down my whole, like it says after enough groups get shut down, it doesn't even give you a specific well, number or anything. You, they well, could take my, my profile or just uh, shut that down. They can do whatever they want. They yeah. can do whatever they want. Have you they ever be thought like, about a different platform like Reddit or Discord? Or yeah, something? I was, yeah. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, Discord sounds like you'd fucking love it, dude. Because it's like, then there's no one's gonna be able to tell you what you can't do. You could send, yeah, you post a video of a dude being beheaded. You know, you could do whatever the fuck you want. Discord. <laughs> well, if there's you people know? that you think would be into it, we could start one. I'd help promote it. I mean, I'm, I mean, if I didn't do it that much, but well, sure, why not? We we have people, a promotion. To channel in our discord so if you do make one you, in, you send it to frankie or i we could definitely Maybe post it up in there and people do it yeah yeah no i got people you. would most definitely join i got you there's yeah. definitely a, a learning curve to discord and it's not the easiest thing to kind of get dude the, you know i can only do so much you know what i'm saying like, i, I would love to 100 percent. you feel me like i got my things that's just not my thing 100%. if someone knows it more i'll probably come and check it out a little bit i'll try to learn it but i'm not going to try to be like Run into this board and vote it. Yeah, it up. <laughs> no. yeah, I'd fuck it up. They'd be like, "What is this guy even doing?" I look retarded. <laughs> but you know, I got the Instagram too. Instagram actually just pat got to two thousand followers. That's cool. I don't like. I don't do any of that like crazy <laughs> tricks to try to like push numbers or anything. Sure. It's just I'm just like, just eh, it's just growth. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I just yeah. fucking. I'm not like. I don't not like that. I don't care that much. I used to have this comedy page called Apco. I think I still do on Facebook. And I always thought it was funny because it's mainly just my friends and family. I'd never push for it. I, and I'd always act like it was like a bigger deal than it was. But there's only like 80 people that followed it. But I was acting. It was just funny to me, you know? Yeah. And my, it would get like one like, and I was like, oh, that's so funny. But it was just me doing what I like doing. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, if you like doing it, then you it's not hard yep. to continue to do no. it. No, this easiest t shirt I'm doing, I'm enjoying it. I just would not do it. Like I yeah. I like I get making memes and shit. I love doing those shit. It's funny. And it's funny that you Going know, out some of them are getting massive shares, dude. They're getting like I've been putting out some memes of thousands and thousands of shares. Oh yeah. Like, oh, that's fantastic. I like to make memes too, dude. I made a, I made right? a couple. You, I made you make some memes? 
I, well, I make TikToks, dude. But they'd be, like meme, they'd be like meme they'd be like TikToks. Is that a meme technically? I don't know. I mean I guess technically they'd... TikTok's got its I guess own the... its own meme kinda <sighs> format, you know. I'm not too familiar with the TikTok thing either. I was always hoping it'll just go away, but it, it doesn't seem to be so I don't <laughs> no, know. It's taken over everything. Yeah, I yeah, no. It says <laughs> I see enough of them videos that like they put over on Instagram or Facebook that say little TikTok on it, but because Vine, Vine was popping when it was out, right? And then Twitter killed yeah. Vine. Twitter bought Vine and killed it, and then TikTok is like Vine 2.0. TikTok, and, <coughs> and uh, that short video gets your attention real quick, and then go to the next thing is unmatched. You can't beat that. And then for reach, well, t- TikTok was what? originally okay. musically. Actually, TikTok existed when Vine existed, and it was well, it was originally for like the lip sync. Yeah, exactly. It was originally for like the lip sync. Vine goes shit. down, musically rebrands and changes what it is, because it's not. And like, so, musically, musically, cor- musically cornered the market, dude. That's what they did. They fucked cornered the market on Vine, dude. They filled the vacuum. Pretty much. They filled the vacuum. Vine yeah. goes away. Viners go to fucking musically. But like, so what's interesting about that, Matt, is you are the age where you were the target demo for Musically, except for you're not a girl, and uh, <laughs> because you were that age group when it was popping, right? Like 13, 14. Uh, I mean, I was on Musically, yeah, dude. I was on. Musical. That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I wasn't a girl, dude. Not no, I know, but it was primarily that's that was their target. But it's yeah, not, never, nothing's a hundred percent, but. Uh, I'm not calling you a girl. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> no, yeah, you call me a girl, Frankie, bro. Frankie, you can't assume my gender, dude. Seventy six no, of them. I can't do that anymore, bro. You can't, you can't do that. Not dude. 20, this 21 is the podcast, anymore, bro. Not you cool, canceled man. in the podcast, cool. bro. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, we gotta tweet it. All right, well that was. Dope. We gotta tweet it. I think. Uh, I think I know a little better about AZST. I've only just been kind of like an ancillary group member on the group. I think I've been in the last two iterations of it uh, as the candidate. Nice. And uh, I'm not very I'm not a very active Facebooker, so that's just you know that. I mean, yeah, I didn't know too much about you guys. I've seen your logos and stuff, and I know you posted a few times, but like I wasn't too familiar myself with it. But I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad we got the talking. Yeah, yeah we had kind of a similar thing going on. We really started popping in 2020 as well with the quarantine stuff, more towards the beginning nice. of the year, though. And uh, But we just uh, on a different platform, different kind of thing. So, I mean, but very similar. So, dope. I'm excited to go to the event on Saturday. Uh, we lost Matt. Yeah, me too. Oh, oh, no, he's still I'm cool, man. Hey, I promise you it's going to be a good time. Whoever comes, we're going to have fun. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll be there. I'm it's sorry. a guarantee. And that's, oh, yeah. I think it's like, well, if it's, so if it's $20, if you go the whole time, it's like $5 an hour. It's going to be, you're going to get there your you $5 go. worth. All right. There you go. It's worth the five Every bucks an hour. hour. Come in and smoke, <laughs> hang out, <laughs> fucking just chill with other stoners. You don't have to hide the weed. Just go ahead and smoke up. I do. Yeah. Just do your thing. It's not, some concerts, most concerts, they'll kick you out or you won't, you can't smoke a joint. You know, Facts. go to Marquee Theater, try to go watch a show there. Go kick your ass out. Straight up. It would be dope if uh-huh. like, the top of the, the the balcony in the marquee was gated and it was like you could smoke up there. <laughs> it should be, should be. They're drinking. Why can't I smoke and watch the show? Yeah, yeah the feds. Facts. It's about the feds. <laughs> yeah, you could buy a beer. Why can't I just buy a fucking fat joint right there too? They, yeah. You know they would if they could. They'd make a lot of money. Yep. Fuck yeah. yeah. They make a Imagine a concert like selling that. joints as pre rolls. Even they, it's so like crazy, bro. People pay like Dude, twelve dollars a beer. Do it. Twenty dollar joints can... all day. They, no, I was gonna say they they'd be like fifteen dollar joints. Yo, twenty, bro. They could do twenty dollar joint. Yeah, people be buying them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> twenty dollar with a with a free sticker that's like the concert or something. Yeah, the venue. These guys at the venue. Yeah. yeah. You'll, people will pay it, but they won't allow any other weed in too. So people will really be buying them up. Facts. Right on. Right, man. Cool, man. I look forward to Saturday. Yep. We'll see. For we'll sure. See you then. We're going to.